Go ahead, Charles. Good evening, everyone. I'm Charles Comer, and this is the Mastermind Book Club. Uh, today, we're going over part one of an interesting book by Rudolf uh, Sterner, Knowing the Higher Worlds and Obtaining Them. Uh, this book is a, for me, it, it's a, uh, a prerequisite to getting you know your your inner self and who you are. It's also a prerequisite to know whose you are because you're not just a human or even the word human is H-U, which means spirit. And then the, the, the man part is, is a physical thing, which means dirt. So you're a spirit dirt person, believe it or not. And because you're that, this book talks to you about reaching higher heights into the one who created you, into the creator. Uh, it talks about letting go fear, letting go anger, uh, letting go your irritability and replacing all that with faith, love, and more consideration for your fellow man. Uh, this is an excellent book. Uh, it was written in 1904, mm -hmm. but the merits of the book are are, are actually uh, fervent and 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 factual for today's time. So um, I'm going to pass the mic on to Martha and let her give mm -hmm. you a, a bit of an introduction. And just know that this book teaches you to seek other other knowledge. And that's the great thing of this book. And I, and I look forward to, to part two of the book. Thank you. Martha. Thank you, Charles. Martha. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a magnificent book about spiritual development. And Stainer reveals the dear spiritual connection we are now in the age, in the Egypt, in the past. And we important, it's so important to study the civilization where it is profound wisdom. It is extraordinary knowledge, cosmic laws, occult anatomy and physiology. They have a stage of the evolution of the human form, lecture in Christ in the conquer of matter. He talking about a couple of stage. I will mention a few stage because it's, it's long. Uh, one is a spiritual connection between culture, the strings in the past, and now the reflection of this cosmic. He talk about the universe. We have connection with the universe and the planets and the cosmic. The human force as a subject, as a meditation, the mysteries of the planets, the genesis of the Trinity, and like, the sun, like the sun, the moon, the earth, and the evolution of the heaven and the human organism. Organism. Um, he um, talking about a lot of about persevere. The uh, talking about your soul. You persevere deeper in your mind and be gentle and a higher sensor of the human, of the human mind and body. And this is for me, my, a little resume about this amazing book. I like that rhythm. Good job, good job, Martha, good job. Charles, uh, just touching on some of the points you guys touched on as it relates to what this book spoke to a very, uh, very solid comp compendium, if you will, of knowledge related to how to build yourself to a higher being. Uh, and so far as being someone who is flesh, but also out of flesh, uh, material and immaterial. So uh, just touching on some of those things, I like how Charles touched on the fact of it teaches you to teach, it teaches you who you are and whose you are. That was a perfect statement because you're not owners, you don't own you. So who you are is just understanding self uh, and more than self and the fact that you come from something that is higher than you, i.e. God, you know, spirit, those sorts of things. So who you are, understanding who you are, understand who you are. 
So going deep into inner selves, seeking, seeking knowledge in order to be able to continue to evolve and grow. Skip to uh, Martha as well, just to sort of uh, building yourself out, understanding the evolution of human body, soul, persevering through that effort because it is an effort that takes time, takes uh, effort, takes discipline. So it's something that you definitely have to put work into and just understanding uh, all the things that come into that in terms of just, you know, how you've been formed, you know, the fact of you being a, a trinity, you know, mind, body, and soul, all those sort of things that basically make you who you are and not understanding that is, is something that you have to go through a process of, of grind, a, a process of seeking, a process of asking questions, a process of a lot of uh, diligent uh, effort and uh, work, you know, that will take, you know, it's a bit of toil, but we'll get you there if you keep at it. And so you know, that's a that's a that's a, a, a really good thing that we have afforded to us the opportunity to be able to find ourselves or to to come to a point of realization of who we are just through putting forth the work that's necessary that's that's going to get us there. A couple of things I'll say to the book is that uh, one thing I think is a little disappointing in my in my um, not as it relates to the book, but just the fact of the naming of this effort of just uh, reaching these higher worlds where uh, it's not say naming, but how it's talked about as it being an esoteric thing, which esoteric esoteric stuff tends to be stuff that is a, a little little known, right? And um, um, so it's very few people that, that basically are aware of it. And, you know, that's disappointing in that it'd be nice because given a book like this, which is a practicum of how to live, or how to evolve, how to grow, how to be, uh, and the fact that so many people are unaware of it, it's, 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 it's sad to me because I would like to see more people come into this knowledge, you know, and it's, and it's the sort of thing where um, any, any religion, any, any person across any sect, you know, non-religious, non-religious or what have you can really access this information and use it to build themselves and to grow. And, um, you know, if you're open minded, you understand because the, the things that are talked about here are good tenants and good practices of how to evolve, how to grow, how to be, you know, in terms of just not being judgmental to being uh, like laying down your ego to just really, um, you know, looking deep into yourself so that you get to a point where you where you sort of erase and burn off a lot of the negativities and the things that are holding you down and, and getting yourself to a level where where you're actually operating at a at a place where it's actually elevated and it's, it's a higher vibration and frequency. So, I mean, you know, there's many things that can be spoken about it, about this book. We obviously just covered, covered one part of um, the book, uh, book one or or uh, recording number one is a second recording. I enjoyed it. Everyone else seemed to have enjoyed it. Hopefully we can all continue to use this information going uh, 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 from now until and basically using this to build ourselves to our higher selves and uh, really uh, making an effort towards it because if we do the work, we definitely will come out ahead and be uh, you know, people that we can you know, uh, you know, definitely influence others just as much as we're influence, influencing our own lives. So that's the end of the uh, Mastermind Book Club for tonight with uh, Charles, Martha and I, Reggie, our other fearless colleagues are not around tonight, David, Gina and Tawana, but we hope to see them back next week. And I'll close with that, good night. Good night.